Hello guys and welcome to my video. If this is your first time here, my name is Chilla and I started this YouTube channel to share with you guys how I decorate and organize our home in Luxembourg. In today's video I would like to share with you guys how I decorate for Easter. So I went to this store the other day and I found so many nice Easter decor pieces that I couldn't resist. I picked up some items and I would like to show you my favorite Easter decor pieces and also share with you some DIY ideas. I thought first I would show you what the room looks like right now and then we can dive into the Easter decor. So let's start with the dining table. We have no decoration on the table but I would definitely want to create something, some centerpiece on the table. And um, in this corner we have this monstera, probably I will leave it as it is. And uh, if we move forward we have uh, the TV here and basically this is the center of the room. So when I uh, update the decor, when I rearrange my decor pieces, this is the part of the room where I really like to put the new pieces because uh, I can see them all the time. So probably this is a part of the room that uh, is gonna be updated. And if we move forward, we have a small uh, sitting corner here and I'm not sure, I don't have any plan for this small corner. I like it as it is. We have also a small uh, plant hanging from the ceiling that I like a lot. And this is also a spot where I like to rearrange and refresh the decor from time to time. Yes, I like it a lot, but I would like to definitely add some Easter vibes to this corner. And obviously on the other side of the room we have the couch and uh, I was thinking maybe on this small cafe table I will uh, change the decor a little bit. And because we have some extra space next to the couch, this is also a spot where I would like to make some uh, Easter updates. So. Let's start decorating. Most of the things are from two stores. One of them is Casa and the other one is uh, Action or Action. Yeah, here in Luxembourg we pronounce it uh, many ways. Mm, I say usually Action but uh, I will just put the logos on the screen so there will be no misunderstanding. Uh, so I think I will just start with uh, all the items that are from Casa. One of my favorite items is a glass vase that has a very interesting asymmetrical form. I found it in Casa and it was part of the previous collection, so there was just a few pieces left and I'm not sure that uh, there are too many pieces in stores, but if you come across this vase I can highly recommend, that was very affordable and seems to be very nice quality, so I am just in love with this vase right now. The next item is uh, from Casa as well and this is a white uh, tray or bowl and in the middle you can put a candle. I like the idea that you can decide how would you like to decorate this uh, tray so of course you put the candle in the middle but otherwise you can decorate it so many ways so I think this could be a very nice uh, centerpiece on a dining table. I also have some uh, moss from Casa, so my idea is to put this in the tray and maybe place some uh, Easter eggs on the top of the moss, so we will see how it works out. I also have uh, five small uh, egg shaped uh, candles and I really like these uh, black dots on the white uh, candle. I don't really plan to actually light this candle, just use it for decoration and I think 5 pieces should be enough. Maybe I can even use it at uh, more uh, parts of the living room. I also have a bigger sized egg from Casa, but this is not a candle, this is just a decor piece. And I have just one because I plan to group it together with a vase and with a candle, so I think one is just enough. Let's continue with two items that I have from Axion. 
So the first one is a DIY kit for kids, I think. It is for kids because it contains eight uh, eggs. I think they are either from paper or plastic. It's, uh, it's hard to decide. I think it must be paper, anyways. And uh, of course it has the paint and the stickers and everything that the kids would need to decorate these eggs. But uh, I picked these because I just wanted to have plain white eggs. I think these white eggs are already very nice without any paint or without any decor. But what I plan to do is I have some... Uh, tiny little wooden beads and I would like to use those to decorate these white eggs and then maybe I will place them on a tray or maybe I will hang them on some branches. Okay, so the second item is also a DIY kit for kids but I was thinking maybe I could do something nice out of it and this is a wooden garland and you can create small bunnies out of these wooden beads I only don't like the purple and golden paneers, so I plan to change those. But otherwise, I think this is such a cute Easter decor. I really don't have too many items from the previous years that would fit the current style of the room, actually. But I do have a few eggs and I'm planning to use these as well. I also have three branches and this tree is called Prunus, Prunus Triloba. And I picked up these branches from the hardware store, that one is called Batisaf, but I think you can find them at many stores uh, this time of the year. Just one last thing, this plant is from Ikea and this is called Mascari and it has such a beautiful smell, so I can recommend it to you guys. It has such a great spring vibes and I really love this plant.
I really hope guys that you enjoyed today's video and I really hope that you got some kind of inspiration to create an Easter or spring decor in your home as well. Please let me know in the comments which decor piece was your favorite. I really like to read your feedback and your opinion and I really appreciate it. And if you would like to see more content like this, please consider to subscribe to my channel before you leave and also follow me on social media. And if you recreate something from this video, please DM me or tag me on Instagram because I would love to see. And see you guys soon in the next one.